That's all right. You know what? Well, you don't. You don't think Falcon's got the skills? Falcon's got all the skills in the world. Check this out. Well, it's fine. Okay, it worked out exactly how I thought it would work. It cost me two bullets, but hey, no damage. MLG, baby. What can I say? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Only Trader DLC. I'm your host, Birdman. Notice Falcon. So we're in a new city here today. Let's get the ball rolling. As always, if you're enjoying it, keep letting me know in the comments. Keep letting me know by leaving a like. Also, keep sharing your ideas as to what the story is about. Now, today is the release date. I have been keeping my eyes open on the Steam forums and also on the developer's Twitter of mine. And I'm doing that because right now I'm trying to figure out what the social skill is for. Like when you think about it, when you're going through the car, like you know, from one area to the other one. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, humans, can you explain to me why it takes so many headshots to kill you? Like for real? Like you're a human. One headshot should be enough to kill you guys. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Anyway, those guys are down now. When you're going from one city to the other one in the car, you always, um, you know, the medical ability lets you heal more HP. Um, the higher the skill is, right? For the, the passenger that you're with. Let me read this first. I'll get back to that. Richard, send me samples of the crystals you found as soon as possible. We need to find out how powerful they are compared to Electrum. And don't even think about telling anyone about them, much less selling them. You know what I would do to you if you did? Adam Thornton. I believe Thornton is one of the guys that we saw from the pictures, right? <clears throat> so, with the crafting ability, the higher that skill is, the less items are required. The less items are required for you to craft items, right? So that just leaves the social ability available, where it's like, you know, what does this do? So my, my theory right now is the higher the social skill on your passenger, the more store you get. Now, it doesn't make too much sense to me sometimes as well, because we got some Electrum. The way I'm considering this is the game is basically rewarding you with more story, the more difficult the game you make it for yourself. Because obviously, if you have a higher medical ability and more crafting, it'll be easier, right? You'll be able to heal more HP and make more items easier. While if you have less of those items... What the hell is this, a road? Oh wow, a different road. Um, this seems like you could break this. Let me give this a try, hold up. Nope, can't break it. Can't break it. So, I imagine that's how it works out, like, you know, the harder the game is for yourself by having less abilities and skills and medical, or crafting medical, the more story is told to you- oh, Jesus Christ. Again, though, I I'm not certain that's really the case or not, so I'm gonna keep my eyes open in the Steam forums and the developer's Twitter as well, so I'll try to get back to you guys with a verification on that. If you guys figure it out before I do, though, let me know in the comments if that's how it works, if that's how you think it works anyway, because to me, that's how it makes sense, you know? This is a new guy. I don't think that's Googly Eyes guy. Is it? Are you Googly Eyes guy? Who? No, you're not Googly Eyes guy at all. Your eyes went red when I hit you. We got the gasoline. That's really weird because in the game, red eyes means um you're human, I guess. While white eyes means you've been kind of converted to whatever's happening here. That's actually really weird. Why did that guy's eyes turn red when I killed him? I love this game so much just because nothing's really openly explained to you, albeit the DLC is supposed to kind of make it more obvious this time around. But, um, what I like about the game is his theories as well. So again, keep letting me know in comments uh, what you think is happening here, but more important... Well, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a big problem. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way for that one here pretty soon. Let me just continue checking this area out first. Oh, Jesus, okay. Let's, um... Ooh, that worked out splendid. Look at this guy just hanging out over here. Like, it's just another day in the life for him. Ah, you know, just hanging out over here, taking a break. There's some um, two guys with armor and a, a flaming dude just hanging out. But me? No, I'm fine. I'm just gonna hang out right over here. What's up, buddy? Hey. I saw your car from the window. Are you going to the shelter? Yeah. Will you take me with you? So, no. You got better crafting, medicine is just about the same level, but less social skills. So, no, I'm gonna say, leave Bob Cross the Brewer. Oh, he brews beer. Oh, this is a brewing station, is it? <laughs> it is, it's the kegs right there, I getcha. Alrighty, well, going back to the whole social thing, in the comments, people let me know that they believe 
that it depends on who you bring with you. Like, the person that you bring with you tells you a different side of the story. So, I don't know, man. As I mentioned, I believe the... Go this is Googly Eyes guy, see? That's him, so I don't know who Red Eyes guy was. He was, like, you know, probably waiting to be summoned by Joey Wheeler in a Yu-Gi-Oh! duel or something. I don't know. Oh, this irritates me a lot. Okay. So we have you here, and we have two of your friends over here. How am I going to work this one out? Is there a way... Oh, you know what I just noticed? Oh, well, this would work. I was going to say we could come over here and shoot the guys through the window, but the door is closed, so that won't work. You take four shots to the dome, don't you? <laughs> oh, okay. Just, just cheese it a little bit, huh? I get you. I mean, stop missing, Falcon. How about that? How about you reload, too? Oh, baby! You know, you, sometimes you gotta be a scumbag. And it works out for you. Pills. Request. I like to request a transfer from the second bottle labeling unit to the third beer pouring unit, Roger P. Fuck you, window. <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. Fuck you, window, too. Alright, this isn't too bad. Just hit Flaming Guy. I want to say uh, I got a little bit of damage there from the blow bag, huh? I want to say so. Fuck you, window. You, you are the one suffering from my unexpected damage there. Fuck you, window, too. Rags and gunpowder. Okay. Luckily, we do have four medkits, so I'm not really too worried right now. But again, we can't just be too willy-nilly about taking damage here. Because after a while, it could harm me, especially with the idea that we have a guy that's not really too good for medical and crafting the road with us. Um, so I don't need that. Let me just... I don't think we have to do this, but... Sorry. OCD, you gotta open a door. I mean, technically speaking, I don't have to. My OCD would want me to close the door, but, you know. It's a game, it's a lot different. So you, my friend... You are gonna be a bigger thorn on my side, however. Because you're a lot closer. Now, can I get over here and just swing at the... Oh yeah, I can. Go do it. Do it. Try it. Oh, that didn't work out. Ooh, almost got one. Boom! I got him before he hit me. Janine, I can't seem to get rid of the fish smell. I can't work under these conditions. Buy some scented candles today. If we don't if they don't help, we'll have to do something about your hobby. Alan. You know, sometimes you gotta fuck you window for one and fuck you window number two. But number three, sometimes you need a scented candle when whoever you're with apparently has a big fishing hobby of some kind. Got some pants. We literally took the pants off of this corpse. Why? Who knows, but we did. Jars and rags and a little fishing spot. This looks oddly very soothing, considering everything's happening around us here. <laughs> we have two people fishing, apparently. All right. So far, pretty good. I guess we could drop a heal soonish. I think one hit from, like, tough guys will bring me down, but... Heh <laughs> My friend? Can you stop? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, you... Down like that. Let me get your helmet off first, right? And then... Boom. You know, just another day at the job here. Knocking off helmets and blowing heads up. Got our food as well. Okay. Got a lot of money. Lots of money. We're good here. Fuck you, window. We got the 24 Tienda. Tienda. I I'm seeing, like, a bunch of, like, different languages in this game. Like, some people pointed out that some of the... Who? 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 Okay, let's drop a heal now, huh? Some people pointed out that some of the, um... I guess, um... There, there was some sort of text in an earlier city where it was, like, apparently Korean. And this, I believe, is Spanish. I want to say Tienda is Spanish for store, if I'm right. I know this because, you know, number one, fuck you, window. But I, I live in SoCal, so I, I'm exposed to a lot of Spanish. So I, I'm pretty sure that right there is a store. So that's good. Okay. Let me tell you, they're really packing the enemies in this level here, too. Got some more pants? All right, very good. It's good to know that I won't ever run out of pants here in this game. This is weird. Did you already set up the wiretap? Which one? The one in the architect's house. Yeah, I did it last week. So what have you heard? Looks like he's got a dampening device. 
The Architect does? Are you sure? Absolutely. The Architect. Now again, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm kind of rusty on the story here to some degree. But is the Architect the guy with the cowboy hat and the rifle, or is he the blacksmith? I, I forget which one he's supposed to be. Because, you know, as I mentioned, it's been a while since I played the vanilla game. I gotta go back and watch those videos, I guess, to kind of reform myself with this information here. Dear Mr. Diggs, we'd like to let you know that the publication of Alex Medham's book, The Council Exposed, which you edited, was denied by the administration of Armand White. We hereby inform you that any future submissions from you and Mr. Medham will be automatically denied. <laughs> oh, imagine that, huh? You guys are, um, limiting the, 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 the truth to the people. Yeah, where have I heard that before? Okay, so... This isn't too bad as long as we get you out of the way. Get your helmet off and then do that. Okay. Oh, look at this window over here mocking me. Look at it mocking me right now. Falcon, you know you want to break me, but in order... F fuck you, window. In order for you to break me, you gotta use a bullet. Okay, for now you're safe. But your brothers here aren't. Fuck you, window. And I saw you too. Fuck you too. Old books. Okay. Page number 12. According to the official records, the council is made up of the best minds in the country. However, we've determined that the council only has four members that work under false names. Vermond had to find new supporters in order to rebuild the country. Many of these members were people the common folk weren't prepared to see in power. Page 13. For example, Arthur had connections to criminal organizations and Thornton's corruption was known to the New World as well. It was to it was to the old one. I believe that Vermin knew what he was getting into when he gave a portion of the government's authority to these people. As far as I can tell, he wanted the country to be reborn, no matter the cost. And in the end, he paid a terrible price for it. Alright. So, a lot more story happening here. That's open. Richard! I've put up with your insanity for a long time, but this is the last straw. I can't believe you would go over to those fanatics. I can't do this anymore. I'm taking Melissa and leaving. Don't try to contact us, Amanda. The fanatics. That could be the, the humans that we run into on occasion and want to, you know, kill me. This is Red Eyes. Oh, oh my goodness god. Fuck you, Window for one. Oh my god, okay, that's scary. So the first time we hit this guy, he went down in one hit. So after you hit him, he turns red eyes and he goes after you, like, really, really aggressively. Fuck you, Window. That's, um... <laughs> good to know. Good to know. The Order of the Advent is holding an assembly for those who wish to depart for the Shelter of Fate. The government is building shelters only for the upper echelons. When the time comes, they will not allow people like you and me inside. They will abandon the ordinary, hard-working people who are the backbone of this country. Join us. Together, we will be safe from the coming menace. Transportation for anyone who is interested will arrive on Monday. So, I have my theory about this, but give me a second here. Well, actually, the theory ties into these guys right here. Let me get a shot off here. I'm trying to, like, use as little ammunition as possible. I shot you in the head once, right? So you should almost be going down. So, these guys right here seem to be part of this little coven. And I believe they're technically... What are the cells for? I believe they're technically, like, you know, just trying to survive because the government has abandoned them. This is gonna be kind of troubling. Can Flame Guy get a little bit closer? And then I'll run? Flame Guy, come on. Come on. Up front, please. So you can blow up your friend. Uh, that should... I got a ladder here, too. Well... I should have known he gets a lot faster when he flames up, so it's fine. At least I didn't, like, you know, take any damage myself. So technically speaking, you can't really blame him because that's kind of like how... Kind of how it is in real life, too, when you think about it, right? Like, you know, when there's some sort of, like, you know, weird terrorist type of thing or just big situations like that, right? The government always protects, like, the, you know, the higher heads, the, 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 the main honchos of the country they live in, right? And who's the one that are screwed? Us, the common folk, right? We, we got no crazy bomb, shel bomb shelters to kind of hide into. Fuck you, window. So, obviously, this visitation's happening again. So these guys are booking it to shelters while the common folk got no way to um, protect themselves. Unless you're like one of those dudes that have like your own personal bomb shelter. If you do, hey man, 
<laughs> we could make fun of you for being like a conspiracy nut all you want, but at least you will survive whatever crazy shit happens down the line in the world, because, you know, a lot of crazy stuff's happening nowadays, so... You never know when that bomb shelter's gonna be very, very useful. Okay, so we've gone through this entire area, I want to say, right? There was nothing that we missed? I'm pretty sure we wasn't. Let me, let me take a double check, though. Yeah, so there was nothing that we missed. We got everything over here. Great, so now let's take this road, which... With any luck... Excuse me. With any luck, it'll basically loop me back to the old area that we started off at. So this shouldn't... This probably is the right-hand side of the vehicle. So we've reached the end point of the first area we started off at. So now we should be able to loop back into the car. And hopefully find the water we're at it, too. Okay. Your eyes open. Hey, more fishing. <laughs> I guess this is like a really big fishing town. Oddly enough, it seems like this fire is still going, too. Hey, Jesus! Don't do that, man! Don't do that! I'm not even ready for you yet. Okay, let's charge it up. Mr. Googly Eyes! Don't you nip at me ankles. Don't you... I did say at me ankles. Uh, apparently, uh, I'm part Irish now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, you know what? Uh, get you guys from the backside here instead. That's a bit too close to comfort here. Well, that's even worse, and apparently I can't even, um, reach these guys from this side. That's alright, you know what? Well, you don't, you don't think Falcon's got the skills? Falcon's got all the skills in the world, check this out. Well... It's fine. Okay? It worked out exactly how I thought it would work. It cost me two bullets, but hey, no damage. MLG, baby, what can I say? Alrighty, so you guys have to be confronted straight up. Okay, so... One is down. Little fast dude, as long as I hit you once with a full force attack, you should be going down. Come at me, bro. Yeah! Fuck you, window. Soap and toilet paper. Good. Got the water, and we got another body. Pills and rags and clothing. Okay. So now we have everything we need to actually hit the road. I think everything is here is good. Oh, look, at this is actually very nice. <laughs> this is a little bit too pleasant looking, considering everything that's happening around us here. Nice place. Yeah, I know. No kidding. You cool? You look a little bit ominous there. Alright. Now, we still have a couple... more places to go through before we hit our car. So let's go up above here. What is this supposed to be processing, I wonder? Is this like grain or something, or what? An awful place to hide. Ah, I got some smokes on him, though. There you go, you can smoke your problems... Okay. There's a box there I could check out. Fine. Oh! Uh, it just takes one hit to bring these guys down. Very good to know. Okay. I mean, normally they're never, like, close enough to you to do that, so... Now that we know that, there's a lot of good information known for us in the future here. Okay, so everything here is fine. What do we have up here? We got googly eyes and regular dude. Huh. Oh. Got you as well, huh, googly eyes? Good. So open coins and uh, a good old fuck you window. Alright, and a uh, second good old fuck you window. Let me get a reload here. We're down at 13 bullets, actually 11 now, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit... Oh man, that's just creepy. I don't even know how to approach this right now. That is just creepy. Is this cow? I don't think we've ever seen an animal transformed. This is just complete nightmare fuel. Hey, can I can I get by you? You know what? I'm not gonna take any chances here. Ooh boy, that is that's a lot of nope right there. That is a whole ball of nope, nope, nope. Okay. I wasn't going to really find out if that thing bit me or not, so, you know, whatever. There it is. Okay, so we're done here. Yeah, I know, it's fresh air, but we got to keep hitting the road. Okay, very good. We took minimal damage, and we got our medkit back in the same time, so... Very ideal. The only problem is we have a, a low amount of ammunition at the moment. I saw those fanatics again. Which ones? Order of something. Enlightenment of, or atonement. Advent. That's right. It's better to stay away from them. No shit. Do you know anything about them? A little. I can speculate who their sponsor would be. But why? I have no idea. Anyway, it's important to understand. That the second visitation didn't affect their plans. That means their plans were outlined by someone. Extremely knowledgeable about the situation. Hmm. Alright. 
So let me drop. Well, actually, we're completely healed at the moment, but you know, whatever. Might as well use it. When it comes to crafting here, I think we need some bullets, so let's do... Bam. Bam. Just bam away. 21. It's better than nothing. So that's fine, we're done here. Let's go ahead and get to our next city here. I think we're almost out of time as well, so... Let's see if we can kind of get this, um... Town going, and then we'll probably start wrapping up kind of soon. But let's take a little good close eye as to what to expect here. Pretty gnarly looking place. What do we have over here? So it was a dam after all. You're damn right it was a dam. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I don't gotta explain that one, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, let's start this level off here a little bit, and then we'll start wrapping up pretty soon. Mmm. Well, let's just get this guy, have him blow up, and then we deal with his compatriot here. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I know. He left you in a really tough spot, he did. Bottle of beer. I'm gonna hold on to this chair just... Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Clothing, pistol, ammo, and pants. All right, and we got some soap as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Sorry, I almost forgot this one. Fuck you, window. Very important part of the equation here. You, however, are not really too important to me, and you worry me quite a bit. So, let's just shoot you once and you blow up there to your own discretion. And this guy apparently also went out with a, a couple of fuck you windows. He broke the windows for me. I'm not sure if I like that too much. That's usually my job. This is the last straw. I think you're overreacting. He broke my collector's plate. It's just a plate. I think you were just looking for an excuse to kick him out. Oh, caught him. Usually when somebody just gives you a couple of ellipses, it's kind of like, you know, they've um, submitted to the idea that, yeah, you know what, you're right. But damn if I want to give you the satisfaction of telling you you're right. CD disc and pencil. Whiskey and glasses. Okay. Alright, this is, um, this is Red Eyes, right? <laughs> this guy, for some reason, it's not like, you know, you hit him and all you gotta do is retreat, but it's still very unnerving with that guy for some reason. I think it's just the red eyes. Page 14. Thanks to reliable sources in the administration, we have managed to learn the names of the real members who formed the council along with Vermin White. So we have Christopher Thornton, Arthur Vane, and Theodore Belfort. Those are the real names, apparently. They are the men who overthrew Vermond and held him in a private prison where he spent the rest of his days. Huh. Now, in the vanilla game, we went through a prison area, and if I remember correctly, there was one area in particular where there was, like, one dude, like, held up by a bunch of apparatuses. Am I right about this, or am I wrong? You guys remember that? I uh, don't know. Again, it's been a while since I played. So... I wonder if this is kind of like filling in the story of what we saw in that prison now. Got workwear. Got a, a good old fuck you window. Oh, what do we have here? Page 15. After overthrowing Vermin, the, the members of the council had a new goal, dividing and assuming control of the country. All of the programs instituted by Vermin were delayed, including construction of the Guardian, building walls around Metropole, etc. Soon afterward, Arthur Vane disappeared without a trace. We do not know whether or not the other members of the council were involved in his disappearance. Hmm. Well, I mean, they're up to some really sketchy shit, so... Would it really be beyond the idea that, yeah, they had something to do with that? So this room has two entrances, it does seem, so one is probably more dangerous than the other one, I would imagine. Maybe we could lure these dudes from one area? <laughs> yeah, ha ha ha! Yeah, I had a feeling. Well then, let's do it, huh? Boom! Alright. Away with you. And we have one of those like little shrine areas for... I don't know, man, it's weird. And carvings that we see a lot, very often. Alright. Surprised we haven't run into any of the items that we need. We still have to go to the left-hand side, but right now we're just continuing to ride. And oh man, we're out of time here, guys. So you know what? I'm gonna wrap it up here. Oh, what do we have? No gasoline! Ah! <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. Stick around for next episode. Again, keep leaving your tips and... Not really your tips, really. I know what I'm doing here, but your theories as to... You know, some of the things I've mentioned right now, 
confirm them for me if you are more aware of the story, because, you know, as I mentioned, I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm kind of like, you know, trying to piece it together from what I remember, which sometimes is terrible. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Look up the next episode. I will catch you next time.